Hello guys, I'm coming to you with a review of the Acorns app, the Acorns investment app. I ran across this app on Pinterest. I was just on there browsing, doing my daily browsing and looking at things and it just kept popping up. And I saw it was an investment app, so I decided to give it a try, even though I was a little skeptical at first, but I still went forth with it. So when you first start out with this app, you should answer a few questions and then they use those questions to determine what type of portfolio they should start investing you in. And so you have conservative, moderately conservative, you have the moderate, you have moderately aggressive, which I'm in, and you have aggressive. And all that's changing with these is the amount that they're investing in the stocks and the bonds. So when you start out conservative, it's more so in the bonds than they're in the stocks. And then it just keeps dwindling a little bit less, a little less there, almost most of it is in stock here, and then at this point you get aggressive. There are no bonds, it's all stock. Okay. And the only thing I guess is a con with this is this is the only selection you can make as far as what kind of choices you have with the stock here, as opposed to if you were investing in, I guess, in individual stocks, you know, you have a choice in where your money's going, but you can only pick with these folders, and that's pretty much it. So after that, then you would link a card. And by linking the card, that allows them to do the roundup feature, which is what I like about this app. So with the roundup, say you go, you buy some coffee with your card and you pay $2.50 $2 for the coffee. So they'll go ahead and round it up to the next dollar, which would be $3. And now you have 50 cents to invest in your portfolio. And you go somewhere else and you get a hamburger. And the hamburger is $4.25. They'll round that up to $5. And now you have 75 cents to invest in your portfolio. And just keep doing this, watching your transactions until it gets you to $5 and then invest that $5 into your portfolio and just keep doing this over and over. The only interesting one I have the, that with the investment on that part with the roundups is if say you go buy gas and the gas comes out to even $20. Well, there's no change with that. And so the app will go ahead and just round that up to the next dollar now. So now instead of $20, it's $21. So now it's investing a whole dollar in there. And if you don't like it, investing a whole dollar when that situation occurs, there is a setting on there where you can turn it down to how much you would like it to be. You know, you can go all the way as low as one cent or turn it off if you want to. But I left it as it is, and I haven't noticed any real problems with it taking the money that it has been taking. And also another added feature they added with an update not too long ago is you can multiply the roundups now. So instead of just doing five, you can multiply it by two, by three, or by 10. So when that five comes around, it could be $10. Or if you multiply by three, it's 15. And by 10, now you got 50. Okay. We'll come out here now. And then also now you have the investment tab here. And so you also, other than just doing the roundups, now you can set up a monthly reoccurring payment and I've set mine to $100 now. So every month, $100 will come out. This will be the second time I paid $100 when November 20th comes around again. And then if you go, you can go one step past that now. And if just say, you know, you're looking at your account and you want to just go ahead and push it to a certain number or get it somewhere, then you can go ahead and do this one-time investment. They have a few presets, but you can also change that amount to whatever you want it to be. And you can invest that straight into your account. Okay, so now we get into the performance. So Friday would have been the last day of the stock. So now it's showing zero, but this is this is showing for Saturday, even though Saturday is not open. So these numbers that are, or this graph that you see here now is from Friday. So you can see from Friday, I started the day $4,995.62. And by the end of the day, we we're at $5,024.60. And so when I do the math on that, I think that came out to $28.98. So it was a pretty good day on Friday. And for the month, we got a gain of $53.57, which is about a 1% gain. And for the six month period, as soon as it decides to go, we got a gain of $168.40, so about 3.5% gain there. And for the year, it'd probably be the same because I haven't had that for a year yet. So that'd pretty much be the same for me. Okay. And one other thing, let's see if I can go back and get to that. Let's go home. 
So with the dividends, so there's some of the companies that pay every month for dividends. There's some that pay quarterly, some that's semi-annual, and then some by the year. So every year, you know, I, well, not every year, every month, <laughs> I see a little bit of dividends coming in. And the good thing about uh, the Acorns with the dividends is they'll go ahead and reinvest that back in your portfolio. And I have a stash account as well. And with stash, they don't invest it. You know, you'll just get the alert that, you know, you earn some dividends and then it's up to you if you want to go back and put those dividends back into your portfolio so it continues to make you more money. You know, so I like the fact that Acorn goes ahead and does that so you have money that's continuing to work. Okay. So now we go back to the performance. And also on these performance tabs, you know, you can see how much money is coming out with each one of the stocks and bonds that it's in. You can see the percentages. These percentages are pretty close to the portfolio setup with the percentages. They're off by just a little, but it's pretty close. And then you can see the shares into each one. And if I click on any one of these, you know, I can go in there and I can see what companies is actually invested in in there. So there you see Apple, Exxon, Google, Microsoft, that one, the small companies. They got Towers, Fortune, Yenworth, Jordan, a couple more. Go down to emerging stocks. Got China one, China one, industrial, Tencent, Taiwan. Got real estate here, Salmon Public, some others there. Got government bonds, no names there. Corporate bonds. Verizon, JP Morgan, Goldman, Morgan again, Morgan Stanley, that is. And the international large ones, that Nestle, Roach, and a couple of them, Samsung. Okay, so that's what's going on with the performance tab. Now with the found money, this here you have some businesses that will invest certain percentages or set dollar amounts into your portfolio for shopping with them. And you have to go through the Acorns app to get this. So we got a whole bunch, a whole bunch of them here. Got Uber on here, Forever 21, Express. All right, these are stores I shop at. And the crazy thing is I used to work for Uber and Lyft both. Well, Lyft is down here somewhere. And I didn't have this app back then, so I wouldn't have been able to get it, but they invest $15 each into your Acorns portfolio if you drive for them, new drivers that is. So when you sign up, through the Acorns app to be a driver, then you get those incentives. And I shop at a lot of these stores, but the thing is, they want you to go through the app and shop online. So that's why I miss out on a lot of these. So I don't always shop online, and then sometimes I forget about this, so I miss out on it. So it'd be good if there was a way they can connect this to like a rewards card type thing. And that way, when they do the roundups, they see that, oh, well, he shopped at this store, and that's one of the ones that, you know, will invest in his portfolio and then you get it like that. But I guess it is what it is. You gotta go through the app if you want it. Okay. There's also a growth tab on here where they got a whole bunch of articles and stuff on here. And stuff for you to read. And maybe people, you know, you're not the novice stock market person so you can learn more about stocks and bonds. Or if you wanna know a little bit more about Acorns, what they're about and what it is they believe in and stand for and you can go through this and maybe find that out here all right the cons is you know they don't update it that much every now and there's a new a new article here but it's not as much as what it probably could be that's the thing i do like about stash because they do update it a little bit more than a acorns does so well it's still okay there's also an invite tab here. If you get any of your friends to join, they'll give you $5 and they'll give them $5 once they start an account and got cards linked and whatnot on the Acorns. And you can send that by message, a Facebook post, Twitter, instant messaging, or email. But the only thing here is they'll only honor 20 referrals for the year. So 20 referrals at $5, that's giving you a chance to make an extra five, well, $100 in the year. So only do 20 a year so you can keep getting the money for that. Okay. And if you want to, you can withdraw money out. The thing is, it takes about five to seven days. So you might as well say a week for them to sell your stocks. And so if you need the money before that, you know, it will take a little longer, but you can get your money back or whatever you might need out so you can do what you need with that.
okay and then there's also it's another little tab I forgot to tell you about on the end so they added this it's a potential tab and so for me 29 so it's showing me a 40 year forecast with it looking at everything I'm doing now how much I'm putting in with my recurring investment my roundups and just stock market in general and I would be set to make about that's about 300,000 by the time I'm 69 and that actually jumped because um forgot to say here when I was on the performance tab that th these numbers are cut in half because there was a day where I decided to make this jump so right here from the 23rd to the 24th and that made these percentages about half less so really it was about a two percent gain for the month before I added that two thousand fifty dollars that I did on the 24th and this should have been about six percent it was getting pretty close to what a stock stocks can do for you for the year you know stock market if you gain seven percent for the year that's doing pretty good I and mean, it could be a little bit different could be more could be less but it was doing pretty good but just by putting that large amount in there that kind of screwed the percentages that i had okay so i guess in closing you know this is a good app hey they wanted me to rate it right then it's a good app for people that may be beginning and maybe don't know much about the stock market and maybe you don't want to have the headache of monitoring your stock daily like you would with another app, maybe like Robinhood or whatnot. But, but if you do want to do that, then I guess, you, you know, you should use one of those apps because you can't really change your, the actual stocks here. You can change the portfolio, but the actual stocks you can't change. But for the most part, to me, it's been doing pretty good right now. So I'm satisfied with what, what they are doing. They're doing a good job to me. And... What else do we have? Oh, they do, they charge a dollar a month. They didn't charge a dollar for me for the first month. I was just starting, but they do take out $1 per month to manage the account. But once you hit 5,000, which I just did this week, they changed it to taking out a quarter of a percent for the year for managing it. So maybe for me now, they won't be taking it out monthly. It'll be a yearly thing now. So it should change to a yearly thing for me now. And just by having this account, it does better than you be just letting your money sit in a bank account or maybe in a savings. I think my savings for September, they gave me 1% for interest. And then for this month here, I've already earned the interest. It was 4 cent. So as you can see with a bank account, you know, unless you got some serious money in there, you're really not going to get much as far as just the interest that they're giving. So pretty much with me making this, where is it at so I can show you guys again? Me hitting this 53 for the month right here, that's more than I'm probably going to get in the next five years with the bank account I have. So, and I know, like, this is the stock market. It will change. It goes up. It goes down. But for the most part, it goes up, you know. So, it is a risky take doing this, but, you know, I don't know. It's a risk, I guess, I'm willing to take right now, you know. So hopefully, you know, with just this review of this, it'll help anyone else or any of you guys that are thinking about maybe joining one of these investment apps. I mean, it doesn't have to be Acorns. You know, it doesn't have to be Stash. It doesn't have to be Betterment. You know, maybe it have to, doesn't have to be Robinhood. Maybe it's another one out there, but maybe this will help you decide if you want to do Acorns or not. And so it's been doing pretty good for me right now. I'm five months in, almost six months. So I'll be giving you guys another review once I hit a uh, year and that'll be in may of 2018 so look forward to hearing from you then may 2018 that's all for now guys